this is a very harmful thing for our psyches, for our enjoyment of life, for our, uh, for our well-being. It's, this is not good. And some say it's been going on for too long. That's why leaders in central Illinois won't stop looking for solutions to gun violence. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. We have new details about the investigation into a possible road rage shooting. It happened over the weekend at Prospect Avenue in Town Center Boulevard in Champaign. The police department says a witness told them the suspect was in a black Chevy Equinox. Now this is not the exact car, but it is the make and model of what witnesses saw. Take a good look. WCI3, Sarah Lehman, with us now. So, Sarah, have authorities gotten any other tips? Well, Champaign County Crime Stoppers told me today they haven't. But people can also call Champaign Police with information. They're trying to track down whoever shot Liam Gasser in the middle of a busy intersection. Terry Von Thaden says her 24-year-old son was shot in the head after a honk of his car horn. All eyewitness accounts that we have, a black... Chevy Equinox cut him off and he blasted his horn at them. I talked with her earlier this week about what happened to her son. She says right now he can only communicate by blinking. Tom Bruno is a Champaign City Council member. Like so many others, he's tired of hearing about shootings. Your first reaction is, you know, exasperation, feeling of sadness. Not another one of these. Bruno says he knows Von Thaden and her son, Liam Gasser, through friends of his family. Every one of these shootings involved some family that suffered loss. That's why he's heartbroken anytime he hears about another victim. This could have been me or you or anybody else. I believe uh, that, uh, you know, the average members of the public are at risk uh, and have always have been. Um, the level of risk varies probably by what activities you're engaged in. But on Sunday afternoon, thousands of people were engaged in the activity of driving one way or the other on Prospect Avenue. And uh, this could have happened to anybody. I asked Bruno if there would be conversation or action to put more surveillance in the city or get license plate readers. He says those conversations have been going on for years and says they will no doubt continue. But he says it's hard to find a balance between people not wanting to be constantly watched and people wanting to feel safe in their community. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you.